Before we get started with today's interview, just a quick reminder, click the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so that you don't miss any of the great interviews that we have coming up. Now on to today's interview. Welcome back, everybody. Today, my guest is Tom Giroux, and his piece on the new Federation Festivals list is Dreamcatcher. Welcome, Tom. Uh, thank you, Sam. Great to be here. This is a really fun, imaginative piece. You start off with this awesome whole tone scale, and it builds in a semi-mysterious, dreamlike way. And then suddenly, at measure nine, we have this really beautiful sound that opens up. Talk to us about writing Dreamcatcher and, and the, what the process was. I always enjoy whole tone scales but they are sort of like eating sugar out of the package because it's a very distinct sound. If you do a whole piece without acknowledging that saccharine, <laughs> that, that super cavity-inducing sound, um, then uh, I don't think it will be as successful. So I take that as my number one idea on this. And so how do I write this melody and use both versions of the whole tone scale in the same piece? So I have one version of the scale which has C, D, and E in it. And then I will switch that to where I have uh, D flat or E flat. I don't know which, which uh, enharmonic version I have. But I switch that so that just as we're getting used to that sound, it harmonically changes somehow. We don't know how, but it does. Also in there right away, I put in syncopation. Da 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 dum ba da dum, and I use that idea. So you get to the bottom of the first page, and then I have both hands working on that syncopation as we're going towards another section. We're ascending into another section. So this next section, I decided to not just um, flow into a tonally harmonic, you know, alternate section. I want to stay in with one hand in the whole tone. So what I'm focusing on this one is keeping the three black keys as my anchor. So I have the three black keys, but I use F and C, then F and C go down a half step, E and B, and then they go down a half step to E flat. And so I'm using that as a structural idea the whole time focusing around those three black keys. So when a student's memorizing it, they can see that anchor. That is the idea for that section. Then I can easily go back into the whole tone and it's not jarring. It's just, now we're back to the other thing, but they both belong together. They both have family in the same circle. Absolutely, and it's such a beautiful moment. It's, it's not only a wonderful contrast, but that descending chromatic section is just, every moment of it was just delicious and just wonderful to, to play and sight read through. I, I really enjoyed this piece, and I know that all the students who are auditioning in the National Federation of Music Clubs Federation Festivals are going to enjoy it too. So it's just a super cool piece. So Tom Drew, thank you so much for joining us today. Tom Drew's piece is Dream Catcher. You can find it at his website, tomdrewmusic.com. And of course, we'll link it in the description. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Sam.